So, you know, when we're in legal strategy sessions with clients, oftentimes they want to know what is a guardian ad litem and how can they be useful in a custody action in which mental health issues are involved. So can you tell everyone what a guardian ad litem is, Attorney Roy? Sure. A guardian ad litem is a third party neutral advocate that actually advocates for the minor child or children. They do an investigation. They talk to daycares. They talk to schools. They talk to other parents, other witnesses. They talk to a list and a host of people, therapists. The list is exhaustive, but they actually do an investigation so that they can help the court make a determination on who or what or how custody should look like for that particular family. Sure, and that's absolutely correct. And so when we talk about mental health issues, a guardian ad litem really is useful, especially in cases where we have issues of parental alienation or things like anxiety. Specifically, I wanna talk about parental alienation and how a guardian can be useful. So parental alienation usually deals with a situation when one parent, oftentimes we see is the custodial parent or the parent who has primary custody of the child will try to seclude the minor child from the other parent or make that child uh, feel as though they shouldn't have a relationship with the other parent. They will do things like prevent the other parent from having visitation time or tell that parent that, oh, well, you know, um, the child is sick or we have something planned. That's called parental alienation. And what a guardian does is a guardian comes in and investigates, speaks with both parents. The guardian at litem actually talks to the minor child and really gets to the bottom of why these excuses are being made such that the parent is acting as an alienator or a gatekeeper between the minor child and the other parent. Kind of what goes hand in hand with that is the issue of anxiety that a minor child actually will have or take on from the fact that they've either been alienated from the other parent. You may have a child who hasn't seen their parent or the other parent in quite some time, whether it's because of the acts of the custodial parent, and sometimes it could be because of the acts of the non-custodial parent, meaning the parent who doesn't have possession of the child. That parent may have decided not to have a hands-on approach with the child, and that child has anxiety um, in the fact that they are gonna have to go and spend time with that parent. A guardian at litem will do things such as give Getting an actual therapist involved, they might get a psychological evaluator involved to really assess the minor child and make certain determinations regarding whether or not this minor child should continue to have access to the parent or the parent have access to the child, or whether or not the parent and the minor child can overcome the issue of anxiety by doing some type of collaborative counseling, um, such as reunification counseling. And to piggyback off that, um, minor children going through custody battles um, in this day and age, it is very, very, unfortunately, very um, common for them to suffer from mental health issues, um, mainly depression. Yes. Um, they also suffer from being manipulated or, or coerced by one parent or both parents. Um, and I'll start specifically with depression. Um, we know that the suicide rate in America is sky high right now, and it is very high, uh, particularly between our teenage groups and our young adults. And a lot of times that comes from what we term as maybe a dysfunctional family or parents that might be going through a divorce or an extreme high conflict custody case. Um, and a guardian at litem in that realm can recommend therapy. Um, and most of the time, if a guardian at litem is recommending therapy, it is because they want to treat some underlying con condition such as anxiety or depression. Another thing that a minor child may be going through when parents are going through a custody battle or divorce um, is uh, manipulation where one parent is manipulating, and I think manipulation and coercion go hand in hand. Uh, one parent may say, hey, you know, if you elect to live with me, I'll make sure you have the, play, the PlayStation 5 or the newest gadget, whatever their love for things are, or a new dog or a new car, whatever it is, one parent is making these promises and manipulating the minor child to come live with them or just trying to get them to tell the guardian at litem certain things. Hey, if you tell the guardian at litem that I'm the better parent or that, you know, you want to live with me. Um, I'll do X, Y, and Z. And so I think manipulation and coercion can be detected with a good guardian at light. Absolutely. Listen, if you are facing any issues surrounding mental health issues where your children are being manipulated, they're being coerced, there's issues of depression, anxiety, or parental alienation, call Family Matters Law Group at 678-545-2118 to schedule a consultation with one of our intake specialists, as well as our awesome client advocate. Thanks so much.